Creating a mode 7 is really easy. First of all, we want to imagine a 2D point camera. It has an X, a Y, and a direction. Let's imagine the direction goes this way. We're going to name it direction. Next, let's imagine a line perpendicular to the direction. Let's name it view plane. We're going to imagine two points now. This and this. A, B. Now let's imagine a line going from the camera to the point A of view plane. Next, let's imagine another line going from the camera to the point B in view plane. Now this is really important because if we imagine this is our scratch screen, this little view plane, let's see it as a line on the screen. Now this whole place needs to be filled. What if we create simple lines that go down slowly filling your whole screen? Now if you multiply this by a scaling factor of 0.5, it looks like the view plane came closer to the camera. Do you notice? And trying to multiply it by scaling factor of 0.25 will even bring it closer. The view plane can tell you what it sees in a one dimensional line. This line. So if I was to bring this here, it would tell me that it's seeing this. We are going to see this. At first it might seem a bit weird. Here's the trick. We basically keep drawing this line, we are going to get this result. And here comes the trick. We're gonna have a really huge view plane that's gonna render at the very middle. And as we slowly go down, we slowly scale down, we can see it's reading this part. And now you will have a finished scene, as you can see. Our finished program would look like this when it's rendering slowly. Okay, the first step to creating a mode 7 is basically to load turbo. The link is in the description. Delete the sprite, we're not gonna need it. Next, create an empty sprite. We need to create a basic script to run the project. We're also gonna create an initialization script. Now we're gonna create three variables cam x, cam y, and cam z. We also need one last variable camera direction. First, let's make a camera movement block. Start by creating this block. Then create this part. Add the sine and cosine here. Duplicate them. Let's add 90 to the camera direction and swap these for D and A. Finally, create a camera Y variable and add space and Z instead of D and A. And we are basically done with the movement script. Just add 1 here and 4 here. Now, create a script called mode 7. Add a resolution input. Also add an FOV input. Enter 0.35 here and 240 here. Start by erasing all and setting the pen size to 1.5. Then create the script. Then add this here. It should look like this. Clicking the flag should fill the bottom part. Now let's create a list, calling it texture. We are going to set the pen color to item 1 of texture. For now, show the texture list. You need to go to this site, called image to list. I'll leave the link in the description. Select the second option. Find a texture you want, and screenshot it. Save that texture. Find it in the files and look at its dimensions. This is really important by the way. So, note it down. For me, it's 90 by 90. I'm going to leave a comment about that. Now we'll go back to image to list and choose the texture from before. It's going to give us a text file. So name that texture scan. Finally, import the file into the list. Now let's make a few variables, ray x and ray z. Let's also make four variables, vec ax, Vec A Y, Vec B X, and Vec B Y. First, place each pair like this, with the X on top and the Y on the bottom. Make sure A is first. Next, add a minus for the X and a plus for the Y. Add four multiplications for each pair. For the first pair, type minus 240 on the left. For the bottom pair, add 240. 
on the left side. Finally, take the FOV from here and add it. Next, add sine like this. And then add cosine like this. Add plus 90 in the sine and cosine. Now, we will take the camera direction and add it to the 90. Put the scripts together and then put them right on top of the eraser. Now, create three variables. Step X, Step Y, and Scale Factor. We will set Scale Factor minus 1 divided by Draw Y. We will set Step X and Step Y to Division. On the left side, add Multiplication. Take the Scale Factor, add a minus, subtract Vector AX from Vector BX. Subtract Vector AY from Vector BY. Do not mess this up. Finally, take 480 multiplied by solution and put it here. I'm going to set ray x and ray y to addition. On the right side, we multiply by the scale factor. We will put ax and ay here. Then we take the camera x and the camera z and put them here. Do not put the camera y. We will change. Make sure that this is a change point. Ray x and ray y by the step x and the step y. Now let's go to the text shop. Create this setup. Add a multiplication here. And remember the number from before, which was 90, we're going to add it here. First, we're going to take the floor function and put it in here. Take the 90 and put it in a mod on the right side. This is important. Finally, take a multiplication, put a value in it. For now, let's leave it to 1 and add ray x and ray y to them. Set that number to something like 45. Have the value of 90 for me. And there you go. We have a working flow right here. You can also set the resolution to 0.5. It shouldn't lag much. Now here is how to get extra functionality. Subtract camera Y from minus 1 to add going up and down. Also, click on advanced and add 60 FPS and interpolation. Also, remove miscellaneous limits and remove fence. And this is much smoother now. And that's it. We've managed to make a floor renderer in less than 200 miles.